everybody. Welcome back to episode 14. Well, we're going to be harvesting some potatoes. First, welcome Zombie Slayer 709. And I want to apologize off front for y'all. Somehow or another, something happened to our audio. And some of the video is missing. Uh, I have no totally idea of what happened. The audio was echoed. Well, not really echoed. It's more of a repeat. Because it'd be like, uh, I can say like, okay, like it's right here. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Farming Simulator. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Farming Simulator. It would do that right there all the way through it. It would be repeat of everything that was said. It's like, whatever I said had a five second delay and repeated again. We've been having trouble with my son's microphone or headset, I should say. It works fine when he's playing by itself. It works fine when he's on multiplayer playing with somebody else that's not here. Now we didn't have trouble with this before. What is folks? We got two TVs and two Xboxes in the same room. Well, we recorded a few episodes before with me and him doing that and it worked fine. Then we got noticing that if we bring somebody else in, uh, like one of our friends, we couldn't hear them. I could hear me and my son, but we couldn't hear the third person that was out of the room. You know, uh, so I don't know. Then it got where we was having problems of hearing him. Well, anyway, folks, it, it's it's a mess, and I, I hope the next episode ain't like this. Uh, if it is, we just can't do multiplayer no more until we can figure out what's going on. Well, anyway, folks, uh, we got this thing right here. It blows hay over into the pig pen or the cows. But I'm going to use it up here at the pig pen. There you go, folks. Check that out. Ain't that something? It holds two bells at a time. But it looks like it can hold a whole lot more than that. So, in the next couple episodes, I might try to put more than that in there. And also, I'm going to try to use just straw instead of bales. Because I think about putting a, a hayloft barn up here and just filling it up. That way, you can pull that thing under it and fill it full of straw. I don't see what the difference would be. But I don't know. But uh, a yeah, zombie um, took the blue truck. And uh, went to our farm shop and picked up the blue flatbed trailer. And he's going to go up and get the potato harvester. Which we are leasing. And we're also going to lease a semi-trailer. So. And our sheep, I think we're up to 11 sheep. We bought 10, so... We actually gained one. And the bobcat here, we're going to tr have to trade it in, folks. It's, it does not have a hitch on the back. So I was thinking about getting one of those small, uh, I guess you call them just a small front loader. See if it's got a hitch on the back. And folks, this field here, I want to get it to pretty soon. I'm going to try to get it as soon as it turns the sun. Uh, some fires get right. But I have no idea what happened to the sound or the video. Uh, we had stopped the video because a couple of interruptions. Um, that's one of the things 
but probably got it probably got deleted or forgot to hit the record button or something but I don't know folks check out the new planter that's a corn planter there we're gonna plant one solid field of corn as you can see here I'm fixing head on up to the field here for top of my head I can't remember that field to save my life I think it's 12 but don't hold that to me I should have known by now as much as I done played this but uh yeah it was a good video a lot of stuff happened but I don't know just the audio certain part video cut out on us but yeah there we go this planter also does sunflower soybeans corn and sugar beets folks and it fertilizes on top of that all right yeah he he got up there I think right in here we lose our audio so I'm gonna hold back here for a second oh he he forgot to stretch it out right here it had to be a little bit longer and that trailer does not hold that potato harvester on there at all there he goes again but yeah there's the the semi trailer we leased out so we're gonna have hurry up and harvest these potatoes all right I think right wrong in here where we lose our our, our uh, video part y'all all right when zombies back got the potato harvester loaded and ready to go but yeah it should be able to raise off the ground more than that that's what my son was saying too on the video see there it does not lock at all it just rolls back and forth back and forth All right, and the planter's still going. We're gonna get started fertilizing here in a little bit. But folks, uh, that little glitch right in the video that y'all saw there is where we lost part of the video. And like I said, the audio was all the way through, double repeating itself. I went ahead and unfolded while he's driving. Save a little time, huh? No, it ain't realistic, but sometimes you just have to have a little fun. But yeah, we uh we're doing pretty good on the potatoes and stuff. The harvester kind of missed a few here and there, but y'all see that here in a minute, hopefully. Which I think the video might be okay from here on out. It's one or two spots left, I think. I don't know why someone wants to cross the tracks instead of the highway there. But he almost slung me off there. He stopped. I started rolling backwards. And I started to go that way. Then I realized my pipe was sticking out on that side. So I had to back up over to this corner. 
Yeah, I don't know why that corn's still there, because I done that through the mission, and it's like the it mission ended right at the end there, and it just left the corn standing there. So that's the first time I ever seen it happen like that. But folks have been getting a lot of lots and lots of different glitches or bugs or whatever you want to call them. One is a silage. Uh, as far as I know, they still ain't fixed it. They, other YouTubers are still talking about it being hung up in the concrete walls and that won't empty all the way. And then if, if you don't empty all the way, you can't put more grass or, or chaff in there to make silage. So you kind of messed up on that. So... I really don't know what the deal is. Excuse me. Well, I'm sleepy. I slept pretty good last night. Of course, I didn't go to bed till 1 o'clock, but from 1 to 6 o'clock this morning, I felt fine. Or slept fine, I should say. Now, folks, what I'm going to do right here, I was telling everybody that I'm going to make one round of each crop. Well, I got thinking the only crop I need to plant was really wheat because we got corn over there getting planted so I make one round and wheat and then rest up soybeans now, the reason why I'm doing that is because the pigs they got to have lots of different stuff but well and that right there, folks, that's where I realized that the planter was actually fertilizing behind itself. So that saved uh, saved a little bit more uh, manpower and stuff. I was just sitting over here with fertilizer. So I'm thinking about actually trading that planter, not this, uh, the blue planter, trading, about trading it in and getting the Amazon or whatever how you pronounce it and of course like I said we need to trade him in because he can't hook up to that water trailer and there ain't no sense in really having him there you know because you have to bring another tractor down and hook up to the water trailer so it's basically a waste of time I wish that potato harvester would they would do the head that it's like three heads on it size of that one there it folds out on the left and right side and pretty much like or more you know it'd, it'd make three of those but pretty much all the potatoes for is the pigs yeah, that planter right there is one we're going to trade in, folks, because it's an okay planter. It works good and works great. It just don't fertilize behind itself. So, you know, if we can get a planter that can fertilize behind itself or, you know, as we plant, it saves one job that we don't have to do anymore. Now, as you can see there, our corn's completely out on our pigs. And we ain't got no potatoes yet, but that's fixing change. Man, I would hate to have to grease that thing. But that thing's got so many alamites. And here comes Jacob up beside me. Unloading the potatoes. Imagine we had a big old field like field five and have to do these. Oh, I hate that. I thought they was going up or fix the auto save thing. It seemed like it was a little bit worse than 15. Because now, I noticed, and, you know, 
me and my son's TV side by side, so he can see my eye, I can see his. His autosave comes up first. Then it pops up on my screen. Then I have to hit A. And then it all disappears. So, now at least on 15, you didn't have to hit A. It just pop up for a second and go away. So, yeah, Giants, that's a little bit worse instead of better. There's a moon tractor. Yep, that's our cow tractor. God, look how dirty that planter is. Y'all see that? And that in there is barely, barely dirty. Yep. See, you got furs eyes behind that. And Another thing, folks, this is what I wish I could get where I could do. You know, here I am fertilizing the field and stuff, but you can't see what Jacob's doing. You know, a zombie might be over there just tearing up the fields and stuff, and we're missing it. Nah, he, he might do something like that, but he wouldn't do it on purpose. But if I could get both our clips in together, that'd be so neat. Really, the only way I know to do that is just to buy another Elgato. That way it'll record his screen while it's recording mine. But if we don't get these microphones straightened out, I don't know what to do. Right now, I'm using the uh, SH-666 from Sunho. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's S-O-O-N-H-U-A. And it's a little, probably about 8 to 10 inches tall uh, tripod with a little handheld mic that slides in the little thing here. I got on one of my reviews, so if y'all want to go check that out, I might put it down in a link on this. Might. There's a shit new shed mod that's out, y'all. Check it out. You got a small and large vehicle shed, and then you got a grain storage. That grain storage shed would be perfect up by the pigs. That way we can use what we got up there now as a uh, shelter for the vehicles. Yeah, I like how one of those challengers. I like how the Black Beauty. That's a powerful tractor. But we got to get another tractor, though, because I like to take the cow tractor down to the cows, of course. Yeah, I think this is the one I'm going to get, if I remember right. Cause we're gonna have to get a larger plow too, y'all. Cause I'm getting these uh, fields and stuff, and that's gonna be a lot of plowing. So we're probably gonna have to have two tractors plowing. But it's kind of funny, yo. I asked you to pick a color, and there's only two colors: now green and green. 
I guess one's a dark green or something. But I like it now where you can go to the store and still be able to harvest in the background as you can see on the sides there. But yeah, that's right there is my Black Beauty. It's not as big as the Challenger that swivels in the middle, but I forgot what they're called. Os Oscillating tractors. Something like that. Well, look at there. Our planter's done. One of them, anyway. We're going to take them on over to this uh, field here. Uh, switch to soybeans now, as far as I can tell folks soybeans is about our highest price crop there is. ah what was I doing I don't need to be playing on my phone or tablet I probably was playing on my phone knowing me all right this guy's done too We're moving on across. Folks, right there where that fertilized buggy's sitting at. That kind of rectangle grass field there. That would be a good spot for a couple of sheds. Because we are getting kind of low on sheds at our main farm shop, too. Right over at the grain silo, I like to tear down that shed and put some silos there later on when we get more money coming in and stuff. And then we'll start getting our max capacity on grain. Right here is where I made a boo boo, folks. I, I should have went on to the next field instead of helping him out. Because when he got done with that field, it would have been done. Fertilized and everything. But I put this guy out there. And then that makes us have to fertilize that little bit too. So I wasn't really thinking there. I wish they gave, uh, like, names instead of uh, letters and stuff. Should be able to type your own name in for that worker. Because you only can have, what, five other people besides yourself? That's a total of six players, max. You can, they, Giants should let you pick out five names for your helper. That way you can have like Billy Bob, Jim Bob, James, uh, I don't know, be names, nicknames, whatever, you know, like Baby Girl, uh, Pooh Bear, Sugar Mama, Big Daddy, you know, just, you should be able to name it whatever. Instead of helper A and helper B. And then see folks I get mixed up right here. I forgot again that the little guy fertilizes. Yep, pigs is out of potatoes and corn or almost out of potatoes. That's where I was buying that power food. And I still can't figure out the power food for the cows. You'd, I'll drop one of each bell in there. And it still has a red line on the straw. 
So I think the straw is a little bit too much. So maybe in the next episode, I'm going to take a little bit. Well, see, we don't have silage to break down. It's whole bale, so I think that would be too much. But I think I need like another bucket full of grass and a bucket full of the silage. The uh, Brad M73, I think, it was either him or Daggerin was saying something about the power food. And it was like two parts to one part or something like that. Because it's saying something about it holds 16, what is it, 16,000, I think. That'd be right, because the bales are 4,000 each. So it's 12,000. So yeah, it holds 16,000. By the time you put one bell of each in there, that equals 12,000. So I think it's got to be either another bale of silage or another bale of hay to go wrong with that. So I'm, I'm going to have to give that a try. All right, we're moving on along the planter. I know, I know, y'all probably think there's more of a planting season. There's our beast. There's our beast, folks. It's a nice tractor. My son's trying to run over me. Zombie, stop! Stop, zombie! Yeah, it's my son's, uh, Xbox One handle is Zombie Slayer 709. And just in case y'all want to play with me or something, mine's Luxor One. Yeah, see, folks, what I'm talking about the potato harvester? That's a big gap he left. He's getting on across the there, he is. Oh, it's been about, um, about 28 minutes. Of course, that's the time we started at the beginning of the episode, too, though, so. Might well say about 20 minutes, maybe, going across there. Let's see here. Go on down to here. Borrow some money. And we're going to get this big boy here, folks. We need them. That should help out clown. All right, go on across this end here. Get these. That way the plow can go ahead and start plowing. No, I missed some myself, didn't I? I love how this thing turns on the dynamo. I mean, it just do spins right on money. Yep. Got to get those potatoes out of the ground. Zombie Wood Park the truck right in the middle of the road. Yep, see folks. This side over here is fertilized. This side hasn't been, so we need to do something about that planter. Ah, there you go, model save. 
But I'm glad it auto saves. That way you don't have to worry about losing any stuff. Ah, there comes my son flying in. And he tried to tell me the brakes went out. <laughs> yeah, that's my son, all right. Would it be because you're going too fast? Oh, no, 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 Daddy, no, no, the brakes went out. Look at that plow, y'all. That's a massive plow. But it don't turn, though. Well, you know, it turns on the end. I ain't what I'm talking about. I guess I should have said it don't flip over like the rest of them do. How you do it, you would have to actually... To do it right, like you're supposed to in real life, you have to get on the right side of the field, left or right, depending on which way the blades turn, you know. And then you have to go over about middle ways or, you know, so many rounds over, then go down and just work in a circle. But that'd be all right. It'll come in handy. So we can be letting it plow while we make our fields bigger with the other one. Which these these fields are okay once we already bought uh, the potato field might make it just a tiny bit bigger. I'm not for sure yet. But the the other one across the road when we buy it, I, I do want to make it out to the railroad and go you know square up that way it won't be so many turn rounds or whatever you want to call it yeah see so we gotta hire this guy to fertilize when the planter could have been doing it all along oh look at that massive massive plow see there how it's turning that's a hired helper the way it's doing it. not really do it that way in real life when he come out Let's see I guess that's just round and through he's making now already uh oh Left a strip of potatoes. Oh well, we're not gonna go back and get them. Won't be that noticeable. The uh, order come over out to the rock there a little bit, but that just caused things to mess up because the combine does this thing good. So why mess that up here? Now I'm going to have to either going to stop him or to carry him back to the far end. Probably better carry him back to the far end and then let him come down. That way I'll be, won't be waiting as much. That's why I'm glad I carry it just a little bit of fertilizer in so I can manually do it. Now he's done. Or is. Yeah, he's done there. Take him on down here to the potato. Potato field. I don't know if we get a chance to see it or not, but out there on the right when we get that feel. Yeah, everything's still clean so far. I 
Almost got a pallet of wool. Ah! Zombie? I swear. Park this guy over here till we get our plow done there. Folks, we ain't too bad. 35 minutes in so far. Yeah. Wasting up fertilizer. That tractor there is just a little bit tiny. Too small, but we'll make do for a while on him, I guess. We probably could take him to the sheep and buy us a, a little bit bigger tractor for the pigs. Since we got to deal in the, the straw and the crops and stuff like that. Look like they would need a little bit more straw than that. Ah, take the cab off, why don't I? Yeah, see that plow gets on over now. That is pretty good. I wish that... Do something about the ends, though. The hired worker would just come on out just a little bit further. It'd be all right. But, of course, you know, hey, at least he is a hired worker. Could be doing it all manly by ourselves. And that would really be something. Can you imagine that old folks doing every single field by yourself manually? Thrashing. Planting, fertilizing, plowing, all that by yourself. Oh my. That gives me a headache just thinking about it. Oh, B, I think I'm going to take me a nap when I get done editing this. One. This is just a minor setback, always. And I'm um, actually, if I didn't have to do this and over, I would have been four videos ahead as of today. And what I was going to do is take me a day off. Because I can put the videos live from my phone. Alright folks, look there. We're dumping the potatoes out. They only get stacked up so tall. Then you can have to pull up. Just like real life. But uh. See, so if I thought about it, we could have put bought that shed. And that way we had a place to put all of our grain for the pigs. Since they eat so much. That way all we had to do is drive the front loader up in there and get a, a bucket of it. Which, that's probably all they're going to hold anyway. You know. And that pile of potatoes there probably lasts us five or six, maybe eight episodes. Or more. I don't know about the rest of the crops, but the potatoes, it only holds uh, 500 liters in the pigs area. Mm. 
Matter of fact, if you watch it right here when I dump them in there, it should show it. Nah, I'm trying to need some weight on the back. That's what I was talking about earlier, why it needs to be a little bit bigger. But that's another thing. They give you standard tires, wheel weights, narrow tires, or twin wheels. You should be able to match and match. You know, you should be able to take your narrow tires and still have wheel weights put on them. You know, wheel weights should be an option all by itself on every set of tires, even the twin wheels. But anyway, you know, what do I know? I'm just a YouTube video creator for Farming Simulator 17. But folks, I'm also thinking about doing some uh, uh, horses patootie. No, I ain't thinking about doing horses patootie. I'm thinking about doing an, a totally whole nother set of episodes of the Gold Edition Farming Simulator 15, but you know, it's on this and the Farming Simulator 17, you know, it's got two maps. I'm trying to think of that other map. Shanofka. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. I want to do uh, a set of episodes on it too. Yeah, I might not be doing it every day. But make one like maybe one, two, or maybe even three episodes a week. On the Sonofka map. Because. Uh, I haven't had anybody ask me yet about it. But some of the other YouTubers. Been getting people. Or fans asking them. You know why ain't you doing the Sonofka map. And they're like well. I done that the whole. You know. 2015 farm similar so why would I want to do it on this one when I got the new map so I was thinking about starting up a series a let's play series on the Sonoka map also which you know it, it wouldn't be hard to do uh oh folks that's where I forgot to turn the harvester on or accidentally turned it off or something had to back up and re-get really that. But it wouldn't be hard to do, you know. Because look, I'm about four videos ahead. Which I would have been if the audio wasn't done. So I could slack back just a tiny bit. And it, it wouldn't phase y'all none. Y'all still be getting them every day. But I could do Shinofka like maybe three times a week. Who knows? Maybe I can do both of them. Where I can shoot out both videos. So that'd be two videos a day y'all could watch. Now I could do it like a couple of other YouTubers do. Not mention no names, but uh, you know, they, they shoot out two sometimes three 30 minute videos a day so that could be something we could do or I could do for y'all because y'all been really good supporters uh, I never thought I'd even get 15 subscribers but uh looking kind of rough on trying to get those subscribers what was it 50 50 subscribers by uh, end of the year um not even halfway yet so you don't have to do something well 
which uh, when I upload a video to YouTube, it goes to Google Plus and Twitter. So that helps out there too to get it on across more audience. But I also have Instagram and I just came up with Snapchat, but I don't see a way to broadcast to all. So uh, what I mean is, you know, like Twitter, when you post it, it's just there for every who's following you to see. Where, where I'm understanding Instagram, you have to send it to everybody, I think. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing it right. It's something I want to have to check into. Is that way, because I got some people on Instagram that I don't have on Twitter, because they don't have Twitter accounts. And same thing with uh, Snapchat, you know, uh, I didn't have Snapchat there at first and I started watching Lance and Cody on YouTube and they got Snapchat, so I downloaded it, but I just don't understand it, you know, the picture just disappears after so much time. I guess you can set the time a little bit longer, but... Well, folks, as you can see there, we're done with the potatoes. Loading the machine back up. Ah, he's squeezing me too hard. Uh oh. Uh oh. See there, folks. It don't want to stay on because he might have me squished in there too much and cause some pressure or something but I just hope the sugar beet harvester ain't that way because I really want to get into sugar beets because we got that nice Homer DLC that came out today which when y'all see this it'll be a couple days down the line but it's it's really nice. You got the the Homer machine that does the liquid manure, the solid manure, uh, also a grain cart attachment to it, and uh, there's something else there too, I believe. But uh, anyway, yeah. Well, all we gotta do now is finish plowing this field and get it planted and we'll be done with this episode that sure is a nice tractor and plow folks the only thing I wish I wish it somehow or another it would flip but I guess because it's so big that's the reason why it won't flip but see folks right here you go down this way and then you come back up over well done plow that that's how you're supposed to use that just keep working in a circle i think i'm gonna cut those trees down through there y'all uh-oh what happened zombie uh it came off again nah you see that truck try to run over me? Whoa. See, they need to do an update on this, folks. Which, uh, I installed a bunch of updates today. Uh, the Fent Combine, Shed Mod, IT Renter Pack, and the Stark in Industries or something, whatever it is, Sunflower Hitter. But yeah, I know it's probably going to take a while. I think what it was, they rushed to get the game out when they should have had a few people playing this. Looking for the bug, I was fixing to say blood. Looking for the bugs and stuff on it. 
But I'm glad it did come out early because I love playing it. I love, love, love playing it. See that field back there, folks? I want to get that next and then the one back behind that. But also at the same time, we need to try to look for a field up by the cows so we can get one plant grass. All right here, let's see here. Go ahead and take this guy up. Yeah, I need to check the chicken coop. I don't know how many eggs in there. Forgot all about that. Well, we gotta finish this stuff up first, so park this guy right here. All right. We're gonna return this back to the dealer. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Move out of the way, zombie, so I can get in here. Thank you. Return. Okay. All right, planner's still doing good. I can't wait till we get the other field over. And this guy look like he's done. Go up here, check the corner. Yep, he's done. Drive on down here to field number what twenty four. Wow, that thing turned short. All right. Let's see here. Thing still looks somewhat good. Bouncing through. I need to get that header on this trailer somehow. Where are you going, zombie? There he goes. Mm. I don't think this is going to work. He's going to go around and try to push it up on the thing there, but it should, the trailer should have been on that side. I'm just going to make a ramp for him. So if it was on the other side, it probably would have caught and went up. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Boy. I'm gonna be his breeches. Use my corn header for a ramp. And I swear. Hey, you got one more strip and he'll be done. And that plow sure does make a difference. Might have to get another one now. Here later on, we'll get those bigger fields. That way, it won't take forever. Look at that console, y'all. Man, it makes me want to be inside that thing. I'd be pushing all kind of buttons. Ah! Doesn't want to back up very well. Try and get this little spot I missed. Yay. Uh oh. Ah. Look out of the way. Look at the guy. What's he gonna do? Run over me? I 
I'll fix that. Back him up to about right there. Should give me enough room. No, I just didn't walk over. There we go. Get this little strip real quick. Voila. Do one more circle around. I come in for the last move. Ah, it's gonna be close. It said last move, not the last kill. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was something. At least we're on our last little piece strip, whatever you want to call it, right here. Folks, uh, while we're at it, we're fixing to get off here, so make sure you hit that like button for me, okay? Helps me out tremendously. Even if you have to hit the dislike, I don't care which one you hit, as long as you hit one. Prefer you like it. Because that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm trying to make videos that y'all like and stuff. Uh, share me with your friends. Subscribe. Make sure your friends subscribe. And folks, we just want to... I just want to thank you as much as possible. Because what with y'all, I wouldn't be doing this. Because I, I really enjoy what, doing these for y'all. But anyway, hit that like, share, subscribe. And we got to get out of here. Uh, there's a few more seconds or so left of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here and y'all finish watching it, and I'll catch y'all next time, okay? Mr. Blue, signing off.